Hello guys, Gaming Lime here and welcome your faces and fingers back to another episode of Better Than Venga. This is episode number 56 and we are going to be playing the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Barcelona and then we will be playing another Premier League game in the Premier League um, against West Ham. Uh, this is my lineup. I'm pushing my wing is a little bit more forward and I'm going to change I don't know why Dembele doesn't want to play here yeah oh he's a right sided midfield oh I knew that yeah I did know that um yeah we're going to see what happens against Barcelona um I could push them further back this is what we'd started with in the first leg but I wanted a bit of a change um I don't know. I, I really don't know. We, if you guys watched the last uh, episode where we faced the first leg against Barcelona and then we faced Chelsea, you'll know that this is such a tipsy-turvy team that we beat Barcelona 2-0 and then we got stuffed 4-0 against, against Chelsea. So I have no idea what to expect for this game. Messi's gone off injured very, very early in this game. Um, I'm guessing that's a good thing for us. But there's no away goal. So if we can nick an away goal um, at any point in this game, we will be very, very happy with that. And that will put us in a very good position. Here is Lacazette, who starts instead of Aubameyang today oh, we could have won that ball there um, I think Barcelona were very poor in the first leg but they're going to score here, no they're not that's a great save, was it a save or did it hit the post, I'm not sure there um, like I said if we can score an away goal at any point in this game um, that I think we should we should get through um, we've yet to have the shot on target, which is which is always great, um, especially 30 minutes in against against Barcelona at the new Camp. That's great. Even further in now, we're 40 minutes in. Here is Ratatic with the corner. Coutinho and Suarez puts it in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move my players back I'm going to move Martins and Stembele back to where they where they were oops gives it a little bit more structure a little bit more defensive um, I've had 10 shots 4 on target Diego Costa's just scored against his former club and prob and could have put uh, Atletico Madrid through to the semi-final. Uh, I think Manchester United and PSG are through to the semi-finals uh, for the other two games. 1-0 down on the night. 2-1 uh, up on aggregate. Again, I still think we need that away goal. Free kick to Arsenal. Jordi Alba, I don't know where he was running off to there. Arthur whips it in, PK away, but only as far as Arthur. Arthur gets tackled by Sergio Biscuits. And that was the end of that highlight. That was a weird highlight. There was really nothing happening there. No yellow cards for either of those challenges, by the way, I might add. Um, Musa Dembele on the bench there. I didn't even know I picked Musa Dembele. I don't know what to do. I think Abamyang's got to come on here. Let's bring Abamyang on for Lacazette. Xhaka for Ramsey for Xhaka maybe. Let's leave it for now. We'll give it another ten minutes and see if Xhaka's still on the six point seven. Here's Torreira. Whips it in. And that's away, only as far as Bastos on the halfway line. Back to Torreira. Torreira to Arthur, to Abamyang, surrounded by Barcelona shirts. 
and they easily deal with this one. Should be here's Ratatic on the halfway line. Scalper. Semi Sado. Tierney does well. Abami uh, Dembele, sorry. Here is Abamiang on the halfway line and it's poor, easily dispossessed by Jordi Alba and Coutinho's hit the crossbar. Oh my goodness, that was that was nerve wracking. Torreira, Xhaka, Martins hit him on the counter attack. It's Granite Xhaka, and that is the away goal. And I was just about to take him off as well. Absolutely incredible, great counter attack. Torreira to Xhaka. Xhaka's ball there was decent. Martins back to him, and Xhaka one touch and poor goalkeeping. It's got to be said. But 20 minutes to go and we are 3-1 up on aggregate. Plus that's an away goal. So Barcelona now have to score three more times. Yeah, three more times in 15 minutes. We are going to make another change. Um, or are we? Do I really need to? I don't think I need to. I'm going to keep it as it is. But what I am going to say, I'm going to go to defensive for these last 15 minutes um, we're playing against Barcelona in the Champions League quarterfinals we want to win we don't want to mess around Scaper's coming off and he was the substitute that come on for Messi early on and he has come off the substitute has been substituted but this is going to be a win well not necessarily a win it's going to be a draw and there it is, we are through to the Champions League semi-final, which is crazy. And I think the draw um, for that semi-final is happening in between these two games. So for the West Ham game, I will show you or I will tell you who we have got in the semi-final. So I will see you guys for the West Ham game. So, no changes for the game against West Ham. Um, we've been so inconsistent, it's ridiculous. Um, Chelsea dropped more points uh, in the early kickoff. They tied against Wolves, I think it was. Um, we can't catch them in this game, uh, but it is down to the wire, and everybody is gunning for every place at the minute. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um we did have the Champions League semi-final draw and the teams were PSG, Atletico Madrid and Manchester United and we will face Manchester United in the semi-final of the Champions League. Uh, pff, again, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen for that game but we will I'll definitely, definitely um, show you guys that game we actually faced Manchester United on the last game of the season as well so it could come down to the wire um, but we need to start winning Premier League games if we want to compete in the Premier League I mean we're 90% we're guaranteed third spot because um, Liverpool are a long way behind us it's not guaranteed um, by by all means, uh, but again, we come here, we beat Barca or we tie against Barcelona, and then three days later, we're facing West Ham, and it's nil nil at half time. It's the same team. I don't I, look at this. Uh, Dembele and Lacazette have had very very poor games. Um, Let's make some changes. I'm going to bring them back. Bring these back and take Lacazette off. Bring a Bamiang on. Let's give them, see if we can give them a kick up the backside. I know a lot of advantage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's be aggressive with them. I know a lot of you thinking. Well, that didn't go down well, did it at all? Abamyang's on for Lacazette, our leading goal scorer this season. With I think he's got thirty goals. I don't think he scored any more thirty goals for Abamyang. I can't believe West Ham have got Deli Alley, <laughs> and they're trying to get um, uh, Eric Dyer 
from West Ham, uh, from Tottenham as well. It's crazy. They spent like seventy-eight million pounds or something on Deli Alley. Ah, uh, de 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 de. Here we go again. Let's change to our attacking formation. Let's bring Torreira off. Let's bring Fuschberg on. We'll give Dembele an inside forward on attack. And we'll give Martin so he can play there. He'd be fine. Do we bring Ramsey on? No, I think we're okay. Let's give it another 10 minutes. See if our formation change can make any difference. We'll go to attack. We will go fluid. <sighs> Arthur with a free kick on the edge of the bar. He's done it. You absolute beautiful beautiful man he's not going anywhere in the summer Barcelona can bid what they want for him let's go down to control do we take any more chances yeah we got to mix up this midfield look at these they're all on 64 let's bring uh, Ramsey on a few bit more legs in that midfield last 10 minutes we need a win here we need to i'm going to shut up shop i'm going to go to contain i'm going to go to highly structured and i'm going to change it back no i can't because jack is off the field okay we'll leave it like this Feuchberg, deflection a bamiang scored it doesn't matter 2-0 just as you thought it was going to be all over the title race is back on <laughs> i don't think the title race is on at all but we have got a massive massive three points here oh i just it was just a shambles really wasn't it but i don't care we won the game we're two points behind chelsea uh what is it six points behind manchester united <sighs> There you go. Two, or well, a tie against uh, Barcelona and a win against West Ham. We deserved it. We were the better team. Um, but it just took us a really long time. But Arthur's free kick and then a Bamiang in the 87th minute provides us a huge three points that we desperately, desperately needed. Um, if you did like this episode, guys, please leave a, a thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, make sure you are subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.